For practice it, self-check 5.23 robust int. We are given the following code. That is correct. However, it is not robust enough to handle invalid user input. So what we need to do is modify this code so that it will be able to withstand invalid user input. When we look at our given code, we have the first line, which declares a scanner object. And then we ask the user for their age. Now we need to store their age, which we do in int age is equal to console.nextInt on this line right here. However, we need to make a possibility for if we are not given an integer. And if we're not given an integer, we need to repetitively ask the user for input until we get the correct integer. The best way to do this would be, would be to use a while loop in our statement in here, our condition, we want to run this while we don't have a next integer. So we'll basically just type that out. We'll say while we do not have a console dot has next int, we're going to be in this while loop. And then in our while loop, well, we need to store the input that this user gives. And the easiest way to do this is to have a scan dot next that'll get the very next thing that they input and then after this we will prompt them again what their age is so we can do that like this and this while loop will keep running until we have a next int once we have a next int this condition is no longer valid so we'll break out of our while loop and then we will store it in age we're going to do the exact same thing for this GPA one. Well, we need so we need to run it um, while our console does not have a next double. Otherwise, we would store it in this double. So we'll have a while loop, and we'll do we'll say exactly that. While we do not have a console dot has next double, we will be in this while loop. And once we get a double, we'll break out of our while loop and go into here. Well, to scan this user input for this line, what we need to have is a scanner. But we're not going to assign it to anything, just like in line 5. We did not assign it to anything because we're not going to use it. We want a double here. And then we'll just prompt the user for input again. We'll have system.out.print. And then in here we'll have type your GPA. Once this is done, we're going to get their GPA stored in here, and then we are just going to print this line out. If we submit this, we have an issue. This should be console.next. I usually call my scanner scan, which is why I wrote scan here. But it's just a name, so we have console.next, console.next, like that. And then if we submit that, we have passed all the tests. So this is the correct code that will give us the answer for this problem.